Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today's video is super exciting because I'm partnering up with Sephora again to show you what is new at Sephora. You guys know I love trying out new products. I love changing up my look, especially when the seasons change. I don't know what it is. I just get really inspired by the weather and by the seasons and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is unbox the products, show you what I have here, and then we're gonna be testing them out on my face. So it's kind of like an unboxing and tutorial in one. So a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun making it. You can share the love on social media by hashtagging new at Sephora. And that is it. Please subscribe and let's jump into it. The first thing that I have here is this IT Cosmetics Secret Sauce Clinically Advanced Miraculous Moisturizer. This product along with everything else in this video is a Sephora exclusive product, which means you can only get it at Sephora. This is an anti-aging moisturizer that's supposed to give you instant hydration and a glow from within to the skin. This is something that I can see myself using in the morning time during the fall season just because it does give that glow to the skin and it's really lightweight and moisturizing, so I'm really excited to try this out. The next product that I have here is the Bobbi Brown Nude Drama Eyeshadow Palette. I'm really excited about this because it's got a plethora of eyeshadow shades that are right up my alley. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the box here. This was actually made with Sephora. When you open it up here, there's a mirror and there's a variety of different shades and finishes that range from matte to shimmer, sparkle, and metallic, and you've got 12 different shades. This is something that I can totally see myself traveling with because I've got so many different varieties and I'm just a nude kind of gal. And it's also something that I could see myself bumping up like a day to night sort of a look because you've got some lighter shades and some deeper shades as well. So I'm excited to play with this in a minute. All right, next we have this Peaches and Cream Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer from Too Faced. This came out with their new collection. I think that this packaging is so cute. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. Yep, I knew it. This definitely smells like peaches. It's got a beautiful sheen to it and it has a couple of different colors in here. So I can totally see myself using this either all over the face or even as like a blush topper. If I pick up some more of that pink in there, I could totally use it over top of my blush. And then lastly, I have these two fragrances from Joe Loves. We've got the Pomelo fragrance and then the White Rose and Lemon Leaves. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like this, but it pumps out like a paintbrush and then you paint it on your skin. So I'm excited to try these out. This is so cool. I've I've just never tried anything like this before. All right, so now that I have unboxed all of these products, I'm gonna zoom you in really quick so you can actually see what I'm doing and you can see the products in action. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the IT Cosmetics Secret Sauce Clinically Advanced Miraculous Moisturizer. You can use this morning or night, but I can definitely see myself using this in the morning because it's so lightweight. It says here that it features anti-aging collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and licorice root to reduce discoloration, fine lines, and wrinkles. I definitely feel like my skin is super soft. Um, I have got that like kind of like glow going on with my skin. It's just a very lightweight feeling and it's a very lightweight scent. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face makeup and then we could try on this bronzer. All right, so I applied the rest of my face makeup. I just left out the bronzer so I could show you it on camera and try it out. This is the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. And I'm first going to just apply it all over the face like I normally would a bronzer. And it definitely gives like a really nice glow I'm seeing. And the pink didn't show up as intense as I thought it was going to. I was a little nervous. I thought it was gonna go on a little bit more pink, but it's not. It definitely looks like a bronzer. And also the down the neck because that's just how I do it. And I'm also gonna bring it on the cheeks kind of like as a blush topper. So this is supposed to color correct the skin and also give like that soft focus feel. This bronzer is also infused with peach essence and sweet fig cream, which are hydrating ingredients that are supposed to help it so that you uh, don't produce as much oil. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So now we can move on to the Nude Drama Palette from Bobbi Brown. I'm excited to try this. So there's a lot of, whoop, there's a lot of range here. There are a lot of cool tones. There are some warm tones in here as well. Um, and I figured I could do something a little bit more natural and see sort of like what I would do for the daytime and then amp it up and see what I can do for a nighttime look. 
So I'm first gonna grab this second shade right here. It's a little bit more pinky mauve. And then I'm gonna mix it with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna start bringing this here in the crease. I'm also gonna bring those colors down on the bottom lash line. They are definitely blending out nicely, that's for sure. This palette specifically was inspired by their other nude palettes. I've had a couple of other Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, just like the singles, and they've worked great for me. On my lid, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. So you could do a brush or your finger. I wasn't sure which one was going to work best, but they seem to be working fine either way. I'm not getting any fallout, so that's good, especially because I did my face first. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab that golden shade right here at the top and pop that in the center. I'm gonna take that matte white shade here and pop that on my brow bone and then use that silvery shade and pop it on the inner corner. So this here is the daytime eye. I think it's really pretty. It's very just light and glittery and just, I think it's perfect for every day. Once you add like the mascara and everything, you could even do lashes if you wanted to. Um, but I'm very excited to try out some of these darker shades, so I'm just gonna do that right now on top of this just to kind of see how they are and work with them and everything. I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette. It's this like matte dark gray. I'm going to smudge this here in the outer corner of the eye. I like that they incorporated some cool toned shades in here because everyone is doing warm shades, which is great. And there are a couple warm shades in here, but I like the variety. I am definitely a warm and a cool toned girl, so I like having options. Okay, that's looking really pretty. I think I wanna add this shade here. It almost looks a little bit like purpley, so I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And then grab a brush with the first initial shades that we used and blend it out. And then on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna use this grayish color here and use that to smoke this up a little bit down here. I'm really digging that lid color. Kind of like a taupey purple. I just really like it. All right, I'm really loving this palette. I love that it has a mirror. I love that it has a wide range of shades and finishes and all that. And I'm really loving this deeper, more sultry look. This is so up my alley. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the look. I'm gonna apply some lashes, apply a lip color, and then I'll be right back and we can try out the fragrances. Okay, so now that the makeup look is complete, I'm gonna go into these fragrances from Joe Loves. The first one is Pomelo, and then the second one is White Rose and Lemon Leaves. I'm really excited to try this out because it comes out like a paintbrush. It's like gel, you pump it up and then it comes out. Very interesting. So the Pomelo has scents of pink Pomelo, obviously, rose and vetiver. I think this one's my favorite. It's a little bit more of a deeper scent, a little bit more woodsy, you know? And then the white rose and lemon leaves. This one's a little bit more fresh. It has notes of rose oil, lemon peel, and petite grain. I don't know what those are but it smells good. I think my favorite is the pomelo scent, so I'm gonna show you how this works. So you don't twist this, you click it up. Okay, so I've got a little bit out and I'm just going to paint it. Okay, this goes on a little bit different than I thought. Ah, I was a little nervous that a lot was gonna come out and then it was gonna be super, super strong, but it's nice. You only need a little bit. I used about a pea-sized amount and I put it on my wrist. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. It's kind of like fresh and musky at the same time and not musty, musky with a K. I love those deeper scents. I just love deep woodsy scents, I don't know. Mm, yum. All right, you guys, that was everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the hot new products that are coming out for fall. I love getting new stuff and trying out stuff, especially when the seasons change. So a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video and collaborating with me on it. I had so much fun. What products stood out the most to you? Let me know down below and let me know what other products you're excited about. And you can share the love on social media by hashtagging new at Sephora. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video and supporting me. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.